Hey, Jamie, look at this. Hmm? Look, 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 look. You're gonna miss oh, it. Hold on. Just look at this. It. Look at this. Oh, man. You missed it. Hey, everybody. I'm David. And I'm Jamie. And we are part of the Rooted Marriage, the online marriage ministry of Stonebriar Community Church. And we'd like to share with you an encouraging thought for your marriage. You know, we can often resort to funny or quirky things to get our spouse's attention. And sometimes those are obvious signals like, hey, look at me, or I need you to listen to me with your face. <laughs> sometimes the signals are subtle, and if we're not paying attention, they can be hard to pick up. <sighs> You're drafting here? Hey, honey. <laughs> oh, hey, there you are. <laughs> You know, but either way, my heart, my partner's heart, it can get hurt when we miss these subtle cues. The relationship in marriage researchers, John and Julie Gottman from the University of Washington, call these little requests for attention, affection, and affirmation bids. They describe noticing the bid as turning towards your partner. It means that you're paying attention and responding to the small interactions to get your attention. When we make a bid for our partner's attention, the response is important because it can have many benefits for our relationship over time. Each time that I pay attention, I'm putting an emotional deposit in the change jar of our relationship. And I'm training my heart and my mind to be in tune with what my partner is experiencing and needing from me. So how do I make and pay attention to bids well? In his book, What Makes Love Last, Dr. Gottman suggests four skills are conversations that you can have as a married couple. So first, put your feelings into words. Just say, I feel, or I need, and be honest. Next, ask W questions to understand more. Who, what, where, how, when? These all give your partner the freedom to describe their heart and thoughts to you. Mm -hmm. When possible, go deeper to understand the bid. And find times when the need isn't an issue to explore and get to know your partner so that you'll know the story behind the story the next time they make a bid. And last, express empathy. Yes, reflect, connect, and do the work to feel what they're feeling so that they know that your heart is in tune with theirs. Empathy, understanding, responding to bids. It's a great way to live out what Paul describes in Romans 12, 15. Rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. I don't just want to know what's going on with my partner. I want to live and walk with them through it as best as I can. And it all starts with recognizing the bid. Exactly. To learn more practical tips about building strong marriage relationships, join us online at The Rooted Marriage on Facebook and Instagram and consider joining us for a special online date night on July 17th. You can find out more and register for this fun home cooking experience at www.stonebriar.org marriage. And remember, we are always praying for you and your marriage. Till next time.